You're watching Ask a Naturalist, where Ohio State Park naturalists answer your questions. My name's Carol Ward, and I'm the park naturalist at Cleveland Lakefront and Headlands Beach State Parks. Today's question comes from Donnie Klein from our Facebook page. He asks, how thick does the ice need to be for it to be safe for me to drive my truck on it? Well, Donnie, that depends how heavy your truck is. Ice needs to be 10 to 12 inches thick to support a light truck, even thicker for a heavy-duty vehicle. Ice tables recommend 8 inches of thickness for a car and 5 inches for a snowmobile. There is no good way to measure the thickness of ice since ice doesn't always form a uniform thickness across a body of water. There are variables that can affect the thickness, such as wind and wave action, which would create thinner ice, and underwater obstructions, such as rocks or dock or pier pylons. And often there can be air pockets within the ice that create weak points as well. My mantra is always that no ice is safe ice. However, we know there are some great recreational activities that take us out on the ice, like ice fishing. So if you're planning to engage in an activity like this, it's really important to remember your safety gear. Always remember to wear a life jacket anytime you plan to be around water, and that includes water under ice. Also, some ice awls are useful should you fall through the ice and have a hard time getting a grip on the slippery ice shelf. Anything sharp will help you dig in and get a grip so that you can help to pull yourself out. So remember, no ice is safe ice. If you're planning an activity out on the ice, remember your safety gear. Thanks for the question. What do you want to know? Ask your question in the comment box below or on our Facebook page. If you're located in Cuyahoga or Lake Counties and are interested in learning more about ice safety, contact me about scheduling a program for your school, scout, church, or community group.